Good evening, YouTube. This is Brew by Me. Thinking I'm going to do this one and one more maybe uh, for tonight. Um, tonight I'm going to be reviewing from the Southern Tier Brewing Company. They are out of Lakewood, New York. I'm going to be reviewing their India Pale Ale. Um, it says brewed with four varieties of hops and four types of malts. 7% ABV, strong beer, produced by Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, New York. So, now this is one of the first uh, beers that I've seen from New York State that actually have the ABV on it, and that's probably, be, uh, probably because this was bought in Canada. So, anyhow using my simple malt uh, pint glass. Um, simple malt is a, a microbrewery in Quebec, uh, one of the better ones supposedly. I don't know, I've never had any of their beer, but when I was at the, my uh, candy store, as I call it, uh, Brouhaha in Gatineau, Quebec, the uh, owner, Jills, said that these guys were really good beer. So. I'm going to believe them. I picked up a bunch of them, as you've seen in one of my other videos. It's a pretty cool cap. It has a glass, um, a mash paddle, and some hops and a star with some barley on the sides. Anyways, using my BB Bafly. If you guys want one of these, contact Brian at bbbafly.com. He'll set you up with one. You can buy one of the standard ones for I guess 20 or 25 bucks, or you can get a custom one for 30 bucks. kind of fun to play with and uh, just don't let your wife catch you playing with it too much. Alright, let's give her a pour. Alright, so uh, golden in color, it's unfiltered. Uh, finger ahead, medium bubbles, as you can see. Nice carbonation. Alright. Well, you can definitely smell the hops, and when I took uh, that last sip of the bottle, I got a big taste of the hops. So let's give her a smell. Oh yeah, it smells good. It smells really good. Um, right off the nose, you get that sweet malt. You get that the 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 the, the sweetness from the malt. You get the maltiness. Um, you get the hint of the citrus uh, hops they're using. Um, it's basically all citrus hops in here. There's a slight bit of pine, but not too much. It's probably coming from one of the hops they're using, which uh, there's a hop that has pine and citrus notes. I'll let you know what that is in a minute. Other than that, it smells like a really good IPA. Not much more I can tell you. It smells sweet. It smells malty. You get that nice uh, bouquet of citrus fruits. A uh, little bit of the pine in the background. Other than that, not much more there. Anyhow, let's give her a taste, see what we get. Mm. Oh yeah. That's an IPA, folks. It's a really, really good IPA. One of the better ones I've had. Not the best. The best to date is the Red Racer. Um, I've reviewed that. That was like one of the first beers I've ever reviewed on my channel. The Red Racer. I love that beer. 
Every time it comes out in the LCBO, I pick up six or whatever, and three bucks a can, just because I love that beer so much. Um, anyhow, so take a swig of it. You get that nice upfront malt, upfront sweetness, and it lingers onto the middle of your tongue. You get that nice medium carbonation, medium carbonation, medium body beer. Um, as it goes to the back, you get all that citrus hops and the slight bit of piney hops at the very back of your your throat down here. No alcohol burn whatsoever. You know, being 7% ABV, you think you get a little bit, but not in this one. Um, it's a very, very nice, malty, hoppy, equally balanced beer. Well, well balanced beer. Um, not much more I can tell you. It's a really good beer. If you guys can get this beer, the Southern Tier IPA. Go pick it up because it's worth a drink. It's not bad at all. It's really good. Um, not much more I can tell you about it. There's a, a nice bitterness just lingers around there. It's really, really nice. Excuse me. So. I'm going to say it has American 2-0 in here, it's going to have American Pale Ale, it's going to have your Crystal Malt and your Caramel Malt uh, for, your, for your malt characters. And your hop characters, I'm going to have to stick with C's, all C's, I'm going to have to stick with Cascade, Centennial, uh, Chinook, and Citra. Citra. All those are very citrus forward, uh, except for the, I think the Centennial has the, and the Cascade, they both have citrus and piney notes, so uh, that's where the pine, the, the pininess is coming from in the background of this beer. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, come on guys, please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I like seeing comments. I like seeing ideas. I like seeing suggestions. Um, I haven't seen much of them in my comments. I've seen a lot of, hey, nice review. Uh, you're bang on, blah, 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 blah. But I've never really seen any, you know, hey, uh, you should try and review this beer. Or, uh, you know what, uh, maybe we should do a beer trade or whatever, you know, like... Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I'm having fun doing what I'm doing, and uh, that's all that matters, really. Uh, I hope the uh, videos are informative for the viewers, and uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Brewed by Me is out.